What is the largest amount in grams of 25% weight by weight zinc oxide ointment that could be compounded if all that was available was two pounds of petrolatum and two pounds of 40% weight by weight zinc oxide acid ointment? So this problem could be approached two different ways. Uh, the easier way, the quicker way, if uh, you wanna memorize this method is through allegation. So basically we, on the left-hand side, we're gonna, of the, uh, on the left-hand side, we're gonna line up our stronger ointment and the weaker ointment, which in this case is just petrolatum. So we can consider that 0% zinc oxide ointment. So in the middle here, we're gonna, our desired strength is 25%. So basically this, we do 40 minus 25 equals 15. And then we do 25 minus zero equals 25. Again, this is, you kind of just have to memorize how these numbers got calculated. Um, but once you do that, this is a pretty easy way of answering the problem. Um, So now we got the parts ratio. So 20, so this means that we have 20, it takes to, if we combine 25 grams of 40% zinc oxide with 15 grams of petrolatum, which is 0% zinc oxide ointment, I like to think of it that way, we are going to get 40 grams of 25% zinc oxide ointment. So we want to know the amount, the maximum amount we can make. So let's, um, determine how much uh, zinc oxide oil we have in grams. So this is just um, dimensional analysis. So we have 909.1 grams of 40% zinc oxide ointment. Now, so to determine the amount of 25% ointment we can make, we're just using this ratio we have on the top of the screen. So it's gonna take, in order to make 40 grams of the 25% zinc oxide ointment, we need 25 grams of the 40% zinc oxide ointment. Uh, we get 1454.5 grams of the 25% zinc oxide ointment. If you don't want to do memorize this allegation method, you can figure it out another way. This way will work if you're diluting something with like petrolatum, not combining a higher strength, like not combining this method will not work if you're combining like 40% zinc oxide ointment and 1% zinc oxide ointment. But for this problem, it'll work. So you could start off by, as we did before, we're gonna calculate the amount of zinc oxide ointment that we have. Next thing we're gonna do is we are going to calculate the amount of zinc oxide we have at our disposal. So we have 363.6 grams of zinc oxide. Let's find out how much zinc oxide 25% ointment we can make with 363.6 grams of zinc oxide. So we're gonna set up a, a proportion and we're gonna get the same answer uh, as before, very close, the only difference is due to rounding, 1454.6 grams of 25% zinc oxide ointment. And let's also, we'll just double check that we have enough petrolatum, we do, but in case they're trying to trick you with a question like this, you never know. Usually, that's not what we usually, I usually have more than enough of that in real life, but just in case. So we would need, so we're gonna find the amount of petrolatum by subtracting the amount of zinc oxide ointment, the final preparation minus the amount that came from the 40% zinc oxide. And we're gonna get 545.5 grams of petrolatum needed. We have two, pounds of petrolatum. We're going to convert that to grams. We have 909.1 grams of petrolatum. So we have plenty of petrolatum. So the max amount of zinc oxide ointment again is 1454.6 grams that we can make.